What's going on, everybody? It's JD for the W back again. You guys see the hat. You know I'm a diehard Atlanta Dream fan. Unfortunately, we just got crushed by 12 points, led by MVP front runner John Quell Jones. Um, we lost again. We're now 6 and 12. And guess what? Uh, the Connecticut Sun clinched the Eastern Conference front runner spot for the WNBA Commissioner's Cup that starts in August after the Olympic break. I am heartbroken. Um, there were stretches in the fourth quarter where my dream played good, but again, Kennedy is suspended for violations of uh, content of character and things of that nature. So I guess there's nothing we can do, but shout out to Dewana Bonner, John Quill Jones, uh, and, you know, they just, they did a good job. Uh, they did a good job versus my team, and you know the Connecticut Sun. They're they're looking to make a deep playoff run. Um, Rihanna Jones, she did excellent as well. She's been consistent all season. And she's definitely the glue uh, for that team. So shout out to them. They beat my team. Um, also earlier this evening, can you believe this? Indiana, yes, I said Indiana is now three and sixteen. They beat the New York Liberty 82 to 69. I cannot believe this. I missed this game uh, earlier, but Jessica Breland, uh, she had a couple points. Jantel Laverne had 10 points. Danielle Robinson, 18 points. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell, 20 points. Wow. Tara McCowan, 15 points off the bench. They made some adjustments. They've won a couple games. They, at the very least, they've gotten their pride back. I have no idea what's going on in New York Liberty. They have dropped. To 500 at 10 and 10, they need to be really careful, although that is still an extremely good team. And Benigia Laney, uh, Sabrina Ionescu is nothing to play with. Again, like I always tell you guys, Leona Odom, I believe, would be a starter on any other team. Uh, the focus is on the other two guards uh, on the team already. So um, Sammy Wickham had a decent game, 10 points. Uh, Benigia Laney led the way with 23 points. So, uh, you know, Sabrina Ionescu only had four points this game. So they really... Uh, Indiana really shut her down, and that seemed to make a big difference. Again, they won the game. Shout out to them. Uh, you know, again, Indiana Fever, 82-69 to uh, over to New York Liberty. And playing right now live uh, over on ESPN is the Phoenix Mercury coming in at 8-9. And the Seattle Storm coming in at 15-4. If Seattle wins this game, they are the front runners in the Western Conference for the WNBA Commissioner's Cup, which I will remind you is worth five hundred thousand dollars as most people know but you may not WNBA players most often go overseas to other countries in Europe Russia China uh, during the offseason they play complete seasons over there because they get paid a lot more money in these other countries than they do here in the United States so hopefully the WNBA Commissioners Cup it gives them a little bit more incentive to stay here uh, for the players to feel like they're getting paid slightly more than what they're worth at least for the winners um, so that is definitely uh, something to look forward to. In August, we get to see even more WNBA, WNBA teams in action. It kind of extends the season, if you will. So that's definitely going on right now. Seattle leads 19-15. Uh, again, Seattle's led by former player and now coach Noel Quinn. She is a high IQ mastermind leading the way. Of course, it's not very hard. When you have future first ballot Hall of Famer Sue Bird at the helm, you have perennial super all-star uh, Brianna Stewart as well, but don't forget on the other side, you got the Phoenix Mercury, you got Skylar Diggins Smith, Diana Taurasi's out with the hip injury, and they also got Brittany Griner who is tearing it up, shooting from the perimeter this year. So, this is an excellent game to watch. It's not on the WNBA League Pass, which I will remind everyone is only $16.99 for the entire season. No excuses not to support. You say you like women's sports. There's a small donation. Give it to somebody, one of the young ladies in your life that loves to play basketball. Anyways, I'm JD. The W stands for the WNBA. Thank you so guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at JD for the W1. Again, JD for the W1 on Twitter. The season is ramping up. The Olympic break is right around the corner, but do not forget that that is not the end of the season. It will continue once the Olympic break is over. I cannot wait, and I cannot wait to finish watching the rest of this game. So far, so good. 19-17 Seattle leads at the end of the first quarter. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's JD for the W. I will talk to you guys later.